scroll down and enable these three options, if you don't enable them then the bot will not reply to your message, so this is must. And you can see the bot is working fine, we hosted the giveaway. In today's video, I will be going to show you how to create a giveaway bot without coding and host it 24-7 hours, and yeah, I will put timestamps in the description so that it's easy for you to skip any part, but I will recommend you to not skip any part. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server and ask for help there. Alright let's start. Creating a bot To create an application, you will need to go to Discord developer portals from where you can create a bot. Once you are here, click on Applications. Now click on New Application and enter your bot name which you want, and then press the Create button. Now, go to the Bot section, click on Add a Bot, and click on Yes Do It. Scroll down and enable these three options, if you don't enable them then the bot will not reply to your message, so this is must. After enabling it click on save changes, now to invite the bot, go to OAuth2 section, then go to URL generator, in scopes, select bot and give permissions to the bot if you want, after that click on the copy button and invite the bot to your server where you want. Forking Rep L Template To fork the Rep L, Go to the link in the description, once you are here, simply click on the fork option and then enter your rep L name and description, and then wait for some time until it fully fork all the files. Hosting the bot To host the bot, simply click on the lock icon in the key section, type token, make sure all the letters are exactly same as me or your bot will not work, in the value section, you will need to enter your bot token, to do it, go back to developer portals, select your bot and then go to the bot section. Click on Reset Token then click on Yes Do It. Now copy the token and paste it in the value section and then click on Add a new secret key. After that, click on the Run command to run the bot. If you get this message it's mean that your bot is online. To test the bot go to the server where you invited the bot. Now type its prefix which is, G, and this symbol, then type Help and it will send you its command list in the DMs. By the way you can also change its prefix which I'm going to show you later. These are all the giveaways commands which you can use to host a giveaway, reroll, or end a giveaway. Now let's check the start giveaway command if it's working or not. You will just need to type its prefix, then select the channel where you want to host it, then select the duration of the giveaway, winners, and the reward. And you can see the bot is working fine, we hosted the giveaway. If you want to end the giveaway, you can use the end command and it will end the hosted giveaway. You can see the bot is working fine. Changing prefix and status. To change the prefix, simply come to config.json and from the line number 3 you can change its prefix to whatever you want. To change the activity status, go to event folder then go to ready.js and from the line number 9 you can change the activity status to whatever you want. If you want to change the invite link, go to commands folder and then go to invite.js and from the line number 11 and 12 you can change the invite link and support server link. Hosting the bot 24-7 hours. To host the bot 24-7 hours, first of all, run the bot. Once your bot is online, you will see the link, copy the rep L link and then go to Uptime Robot website and then click on Start Monitoring in 30 seconds. Create your account if you don't have, as I already have so I will simply log in my account. Once you are logged in, you will see something like this, now click on Add a new monitor, in the monitor type, select HTTPS, and then enter your monitor name which you want, after that paste the rep L link which you copied and leave the other thing normal. Click on the create monitor, if you want faster monitoring then you can buy premium version of it, and if you want a slower one then click on continue free with slower monitoring. Now click on create monitor and again click on create monitor, now close the new monitor tab, and wait for some time until they fully upload your bot, approximately it take about 3 to 4 minutes, so after some time reload your page and see if your monitoring is completed or not, so you can see the file is fully uploaded, now your bot will online 24 7 hours for free, and from the quick stats, you can see your monitoring time and downtown. So this is the end of the video, thank you for watching and peace out.